this summer. Hi there. Hello. What's your name, sir? Uh, my name's Paul Burling. You watched Paul Burling. Gosh, no, it's dust. Yeah, dust. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to TV Burp. <laughs> no, I've not been in an accident. These are my real teeth. <laughs> And like somebody's we can mention. <laughs> and you loved him. He's got them on their feet! <laughs> and so did the judges. I just think after schlepping it around holiday camps for the past, I don't know, 25 years, that you haven't been found and that we have been able to find you. Well, thank you very much, thank you. You are the best impressionist we've ever seen. It's definitely a yes from me. Massive yes. You have got three gigantic yeses. It's a yes. I've always done impressions from when I was actually a child. In fact, my dad used to tell me off for doing voices. He'd say, if you're going to speak, speak properly. And I'd go, OK, Dad. Paul is a nice guy, family guy, talented. I have two um, young children, Luke, who's eight, and Leah, who's six. And they are the reason why I'm trying to better myself and do as well as I possibly can. I've worked on the holiday parks. I started off at the bottom. But that's my um, apprenticeship for something like this. My name's Paul Burling. I'm here to do the best in my field, which is impersonations. I care to talk, Rusty Lacam. <laughs> this show is designed for people like you who are talented and need a break. If you don't make the final, it will be a total travesty. Paul Burling! Ladies and gentlemen, now he's back with friends to entertain you with his very own show. You love him now. Please put your hands together for Mr. Paul Burling. Thank you very much, and hello. I'm Paul Burling, and welcome to the show. Well, what a difference a year makes. Yeah, big studio, <laughs> nice new suit. <laughs> Yeah, and also, no buzzers. <laughs> this is us. And also, a fantastic audience! <laughs> Brilliant stuff. Yeah, so what a year it's been. We've had the general election, cutbacks, Britain's Got Talent. <laughs> Didn't win, never mind. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, also, the good news story of this year, of course, is that Prince William and Kate are getting married! <laughs> Yeah, a spokesperson from the royal family said, Yes, it's, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a tremendous celebration. Yes. <laughs> yes, and everybody's going to get an extra day off work. <laughs> well, that'll make a difference to Prince Andrew and Prince Edward, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and of course, we had the World Cup in South Africa. And it, I think it was a little bit ruined by the Vuvu Zaylas. <laughs> But in this country, you should be used to these sort of sounds on our TV screens. We've had Joe Pasquale for years. Because <laughs> 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 Big Brother's finally finished! Yay! But spare a thought, there's somebody who might be a little bit upset about that. D140. <laughs> in the Newcastle. Job centre. <laughs> and I'm up for eviction from my own house. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I think you should be too picky. You should do that voiceover, man. You should do other jobs, you know, in case you can't get one in TV, like... Main the gap. <laughs> Stun clear of the claws and doors. <laughs> And eyes down for a full house. <laughs> Three and four, 34. <laughs> and now it's time for some more showbiz news. Yes, indeed it <laughs> is! <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
Well, George Michael hit the headlines for hitting a wall outside Snappy Snaps. Yes, the police got photographic evidence and got him transferred to a mouse mat and a nice coffee mug. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but he was in jail for four long weeks. Yes, four long weeks. And then he came out of prison. He said he was going to go straight. <laughs> I'll believe that when I see it. <laughs> and, of course, Andrew Lloyd Webber, my good friend, otherwise known as Lord, <laughs> has given us a new version of Phantom of the Opera. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know the story. It's a hideously disfigured man going around theatres. Where does he get his ideas from? <laughs> <laughs> One of the big news stories, of course, was unfortunately the oil leak in the Gulf of Mexico. And, uh, you know, BP tried to block it up with concrete and stuff like that, and it took ages. I think what they should have done is use one of our very own brilliant inventors in this country. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> They could have used our oil blocker matic. <laughs> we could have blocked it up with Wensleydale. <laughs> <laughs> Cracking pipes, Grommy. <laughs> to intro cracky night tonight, so sit back and enjoy the show. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we'll get Joe Swash and Caroline Flack to host. I want ten episodes on ITV4 by next week. Thanks. Uh, come in. Yeah, you wanted to see me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Harry. Listen, the viewing figures for TV Burp have gone through the roof. But I wanted to talk to you about the new TV show you're working on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Harry Hill presents The World of War. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> Harry. I don't think it's the right vehicle for you. No, 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 no. I've made the first episode. Uh, uh, please, take a look. Yeah. Uh, all right. To Harry Hill's World at War. Yeah, yeah. On this week's show, hands up if you're sick of the senseless carnage. <laughs> My uh, defend their new budget airline. <laughs> and the Luftwaffe, grounded by volcanic ash cloud. <laughs> He's already storming Leningrad, but first it's time for World War II inadvertent rude hand gesture of the week. You know, there's something about Winston Churchill that I like, but uh, I can't quite work out what it is. <laughs> War broke out in September 1939 <laughs> between the plucky British Tommies and the evil Jack who did Nazis. <laughs> oh, don't forget, kids. Bull is stupid, and people is stupid. But <laughs> means nothing in some strange quarters. <laughs> what do you think? It's great, isn't it? Yeah. Harry, to be brutally honest, I don't think it strikes quite the right tone. Well, hang on. I've got a big name for the second episode, yeah. I do an interview with Herr Hitler. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here we go, then. <laughs> Harry, <laughs> 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 it's just not right for ITV. If we did something like this, we'd need a presenter with more gravitas, more weight. Uh, someone a bit less silly than you, Harry. Oh, who oh, I see, yeah. Never mind. Uh, come on, Lizzie Carrot. It's time to go. Mm. <laughs> 
Then, then we back. Where am I? What's happening? I'm afraid there's been a terrible oogie accident, Tom Tom. You went too fast into the paddada. You've broken both your legs. What? No, this is terrible. It's all right, Anton. Everything's going to be fine, you'll see. Because I'm here to look after you. <laughs> My name is Anton Dubet, and I'm a professional dancer. I was involved in an accident. I don't know how long I've been here. All I know is I'm being kept prisoner by her. Anton! <laughs> Anton! <laughs> Wake up! Oh, Anne, please. You have to let me go. I can't let you go. The country loves us, and I love Strictly. And plus, <laughs> we've got to polish up our rumba. Must keep practising. <laughs> oh, God! Strictly finished ages ago. What? No, Anton, you don't know what you're saying. You're still delirious. I'm begging you, please, Anne. Let me go. People will notice I'm missing. No, they won't. Nobody gives a monkeys what you do for the ten months of the year. Strictly is not on the telly. <laughs> you try and trick me, you dirty birdie. I've got you till at least next October. Oh, please, Anne. I'm begging you. Let me go. My legs are better in everything. Oh, yeah, I talk to you about that. Your legs really are getting better. So I think it's time. Time? You let me go back home? Oh, no, Anton. Oh, no. <laughs> no, Anne. No. no. What are you doing? Auditions for Dancing on Ice start next week. No! <laughs> Come along, Nurse Dave. Keep your feet up. You haven't got all day. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll deal with you later. Oh, 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 oh. Is that bloke who just had a tummy tuck? I think he wants to go out with me. <laughs> Yo, he must have some guts. <laughs> he does. They're in a bucket next to his bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not going in there, Nurse Stacey. He might be hideously contagious. You have to, Dr. Allen, he needs you. Oh, God. <laughs> God, he's at last, he's going to snuff it. <laughs> he done half stink. <laughs> so, what's the matter with him, then? I don't know. What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? It's his stomach. It's his stomach. <laughs> oh, no, it's his stomach. I'm a qualified practitioner, don't you know? <laughs> anyway, have any greasy foods? Mm. Kebab? Mm. Savloy? Mm. I don't know about you, I'll get trapped wind if I've had a savloy. <laughs> <laughs> Too clever, shouldn't you poke him or something? Have a care, nurse. I don't want to get struck off again. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna be sick. Oh, God. Fever in the morning, a fever on the <laughs> 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 I'll be <you> sick. <laughs> oh. 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 Like a bush tucker trial. <laughs> 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 